welcome back to a new video on the channel and um, I'm going to be doing another tutorial video on how to install a graphics pack and gun sounds to your 5M and GTA 5 directory so um, since we got a lot of views on the last one um, about a year ago I feel like I should bring it back and I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your game whether or not um, if you don't like follow the steps correctly um, that is on you that will not be on me but um yeah so let's uh, let's get started I will be putting the link into my um, 5m mods for uh, everyone to go into um, I did create these mods um, I mixed uh, the mixture of NVE for 5m and quant V for 5m and the gun sounds I downloaded off of GTA 5 mods but um this one I'm just I just put it in there so you guys can all get access to them and um yeah and I did I did tweak the citizen file of 5m so it makes everything look a lot better but um yeah so let's get started um what you guys want to do is you guys are gonna right click download right click download right click download and right click download then you should see the zipping file but I already installed them so this is what it's supposed to look like when you download them. So you'll see a citizen, you'll see plugins, you'll see mods, you'll have another mods and a realistic gun sounds. And then this is a part of the mods folder but it goes out of it. I don't know why. Don't ask me, but yeah. And also you're gonna need WinRAR for this. So I will be posting the link in the description for WinRAR if you do not have it. But if you do then you're set. So um first off you're gonna wanna um open up another file explorer. You're gonna put it side to side like that and um, I have 5M application data right there but if you don't you want to look up 5M you're gonna right click open file location then you are gonna go to the same thing do the same exact thing open file location then you should be granted with a 5M application data then you're pretty much set from there but like I said I already have mine up so this is where you'll start so first you will delete your citizen folder just like so just delete once that deletes that will be gone you'll delete your mods folder and your plugins folder so once you do that you want to open the first one will be citizen you'll open that bad boy on up and you'll all you really have to do is just drag and drop and that one's pretty this is a pretty simple install um yeah this is a lot more better then you want to open your plugins just drag and drop pretty simple mods this should only have one that would be the blood mod just drag and drop and then we'll go to the other mods folder this will have majority of everything all you have to do is just drag and drop and it will just merge with the one that you just put in before so once that's done that will just merge on in and when when you guys download the um, files from here it will take at least like 34 minutes depends on how good your computer is and your network and how fast your internet is um, it should download at least 34 minutes but it it depends on what kind of the computer and what things you have in it and also your network speeds and yeah so once that will be done let's line these back up put this up here that will just take a little bit just let it go it's all worth it if you're a person like me when it comes to 5m roleplay um, uh, to me I have to have really good graphics that look realistic and I will be showcasing at the end of this whole entire tutorial on what you get so now that's in there you go just close that bad boy out then this one all you have to do is just open your mods folder drag and drop in and there you go that's just simple as that you have all these in now you just want to open up your gun sounds folder leave that there now we can just switch this off we can get rid of this and we're gonna do this we're gonna decide it okay so if you go find your GTA 5 directory mine is in my game data 
GTA 5. Once you find your GTA 5 directory, if you are using Steam, you will have to go in here, open up Steam. Should have had Steam open before, but it's okay. You just log in, and then I believe I had Steam on here, or GTA 5. Okay, yeah, I had GTA 5 on here before. All you have to do is just right click on the GTA 5, go here, and browse local files. And it's a little different when you are using Epic Games. If you're using Epic Games, just log into Epic Games, go to your library, right click on GTA, and then it should say view local files or browse local files. That's all you have to do after you go into the manage, obviously. And then you it should bring you this. But, um, yeah. So, first you want to go into X64, then audio, SFX, then you should be right here. Now this is already open, so you just gotta go in here, and literally just highlight these, and just drag and drop. Simple as that, and that will just take up to like 10 seconds. Just like that, you'll be seeing this, you wanna hit replace the files in this destination so you're replacing the GTA 5 standard I already have everything installed the graphics mod the sounds I already have it but I'm just redoing all of them and reinstalling them to show you guys how to do it after that you just wanna close your windows out you can just close and um yeah now we'll be moving on to the game okay everybody um, we are back and now we're in the game so I'm gonna showcase um, the the guns first and then I'll move on to the sirens in the car and then I'll show a little bit of the uh, other thing that we have that's well that's that we will have with the um, tires pretty cool so we're gonna first shoot off a suppressed pistol and um yeah here he is love that reload sound too. Next is going to be a gun without a suppressor, which is the Glock. And then we're going to shoot the Deagle off. Here's the Uzi. I almost forgot. Taser. And then we're going to pull out the carbine, which we have to come to the cop car for, which is why I leave the door open, so you can pull the gun out. So this is what the carbine rifle sounds like. freaking insane like what the hell just massive amount of shots just getting shot freaking crazy okay last but not least the shotgun okay now just just for just for it I'm gonna just shoot the sniper off we have a mark 2 sniper rifle that sounds good. I love that. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do some bombs. So I'm gonna make it nighttime, and just to see the effect that the graphics pack gives us is really nice with the explosions. We're gonna do three of those, and just watch carefully. Just amazing. Just gotta love that. Also, one thing that's really really cool on my server is let me add the flashlight to the gun real quick right here flashlight I think if it work it will not work okay well it will work in one second there we go just had to restart that resource <laughs> so it's really nice I love this flashlight this is um a 5m server script that I added that replaces the vanilla 
GTA 5 flashlight on the guns. Sadly, it does not change anything for the actual flashlight. If I can find the flashlight. This is what the flashlight on the GTA, or on, the flashlight GTA 5 gun. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is what the flashlight on the guns looked like before until I replaced it with this. But on the flashlight, it does not change that. I'm going to be finding a script for that on the flashlight. But it's pretty cool. Now next we're going to move on to the emergency lighting that comes with these, with the graphics mod. So um, here we go. And then we're going to move on to the sirens. Okay, now we're going to move on to the, the tire screeching that comes with the sound pack. Sounds pretty cool. Also, now we're going to go back to daytime. So, we're going to be driving on the dirt. Um, it has a texture, which makes the dirt look a little different. And if you listen carefully, and listen to the dirt, some little bit of hint that there is a little bit of different sound with the dirt. I'm not sure, but it, it sounds like it. So I'm just going to stop talking and let you guys listen. And I was actually kind of wrong what I just said. I meant the, um the physics on the dirt so it is a little bit more enhanced I didn't I don't know why I just said the sound of the dirt but um yeah but but look at the effects on the dirt when you drive that's what I meant to say not the sound and also I'll show the rain too so it's a uh, first let's do weather foggy <laughs> get foogie so this is what the fog looks like with the graphics mod it just really gets damn dark like you cannot really see anything like it's just all fog and then we'll go to um rain because there is a puddle puddle mod in we're gonna go over to the street and you can just see all the, pu the puddles like it just looks amazing like like just look like that's just crazy, like, how much of the water is. I don't know if that's realistic with all the puddles on the dirt, but on the road, it looks really nice. And then I'm going to show you guys the um, thunderstorm. This looks phenomenal, too. It just gets really dark. Okay, I don't hear any thunder, but maybe if I um, change the time tonight, maybe it'll happen. Let's try rain, and then we'll do thunder. Let's go out of here. 
I can't see a thing. But I'm, I also want to show the lighting of the city, too. So just like the rain looks so good, the fog makes it look better, even though it is really dark, and the light effect on, on when it's raining it, it is pretty cool. At least you can see it. Like, it's just crazy. Very, very crazy. And, um, it, de you, it depends on what your graphic settings are on the game. So I'm just gonna set it to clear real quick so we can see. And we're gonna do daytime again. Look at that. Look at the reflections on the road with the rain. Okay, so... If you want to know what my graphic settings are on the game, I'm going to show you right now. I love this map. So you're going to go to settings on the pause menu. Go down to graphics. I have a 8 gigabyte um, 2070 Super GPU graphics card. And mine has 8 gigs on it. Well, yeah, 8 gigabytes of video memory. So these are my settings for the graphics. I am on... Um, 2400 and 1350 resolution for render. Um, I have FXAA on, MSAA on. I don't have that on, but I could try it. If it doesn't make me restart the game, we'll try that out. Um, V-Sync's on. I have these, these three all the way up. My texture budget, since it, this is my server and I don't really have all this crap in the server that just takes up your the way your game um, runs and like slows down your performance on my server I haven't had any of that problem any of those problems so I just keep my extended texture budget one below half these are my graphic my graphics so texture quality very high shader quality very high shadow quality high reflection quality very high Reflection MSAA times 8. I don't have any water quality because that kind of does take up your little bit of your um, FPS, which is fine if you want to do it, if you're okay with it. It just depends on what your computer runs and how it can do it. Um, particle quality, if you want really nice looking, um, if you want the, the emergency lights to pop with the graphics mod, turn this on either high, very high, normal doesn't really look the greatest but I usually do high or very high but I'm on high right now cool. grass quality I don't even mess with grass quality I just keep that on normal because I really don't care about the grass in the game I'm not really on the grass I'm mainly on the road or running from the cops so yeah my soft shadows is on the Nvidia PCSS which I have an Nvidia graphics card so if you do as well you can set them to this it'll make your shadows look a lot better because it will render right to what the graphics card thinks it should do and it just looks amazing as you saw on my game my post effects on high I have one up on the motion blur times two anastrophic filtering I have uh, an am ambient occlusion on high and I have tessellation on high and that's pretty much it my advanced graphics long shadows on high resolution shadows on High detail streaming while flying off, extended distance scaling. I have that, through, I think two or three above or below the half mark, and I'm on full screen. My resolution 1920 at 1080. Um, so yeah, and this is on auto. So that's my settings. And if you want your graphics mod to look a little better, I would recommend actually going a little dark. So like two below no, half and it'll make your game look a little better but I'm gonna go just Don't at half because that, that makes it look a little better so just right there in the middle Fucking smack dab in the middle looks great and amazing and um yeah so hopefully that helped you hopefully that makes you happy on how your game looks and um smash that like button as well if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video you guys will be notified and um, I just hope this helped you out and like I said I am not responsible for anything that happens to your game 
during the installation of the graphics mod and the gun sounds. As long as you follow everything I did step by step on what to do, you should be good to go and no problems should happen. But um, yeah, so like I said, thanks for watching the, this video and um, I'll see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, have oh, a great one, guys. Oh, come on, man, not again. Thanks for watching. How can you get so Peace. many tickets?